So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert this, the uh, mask case, into an ultimate sketching palette. Let's go! So this is a mask case. Um, this is the generic size uh, that we can get off of, probably the first version. Um, there are smaller sizes or there are the plastic uh, sizes or those that comes in plastic pouches. But this is the hard case, hard plastic case. Um, it's about, I think about 1cm or probably less than 1cm thickness. Um, and it has uh, two little clips here, like holds the, the, the mask case down. And we open up, you find two the holder for so that you can slot in your, your normal surgical mask and it will hold the mask down. So this case um, is thick enough to hold various sketching materials that you have. So for example, uh, a pencil like this, uh, would, you would fit and even uh, your technical pen. So, and also like a pen like this and it should close properly, all right? And even for uh, things like your uh, water brush. So here are the common water brushes. This is a Daiso water brush. It doesn't fit this way, right? But it does fit like if it's a, you know, in a, in a diagonal orientation. But if you have the uh, Aquarish, this is uh, from Pentel, it does fit. And uh, even the Sakura, which is kind of fat here. But just remember, if you have thicker ones, like for example, the Sakura, right? Or the Aquarish Pentel one, uh, you need to keep your uh, water brush closer to the uh, edge like this, right? The end of it like that, and it should fit. It's also possible to keep, uh, to use uh, your half pens or a full pen um, into onto in the in the uh, in the mask case. I would not suggest doing that because that would actually make the case more heavy. To make it more more uh, portable, I came up with this idea of having these watercolor in little tiny pens like this. Um, I found these uh, uh, cute little button kit. I think it's a it's a cover like for for the the uh, button. And I made them into I, I keep paints in there. So I keep my paints tiny bits of the paints and I actually keep them into in little cases like this and 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 you know I would suggest actually using this uh, for for the sketching kit so this is what I actually have um, um, you could uh, fit a good a6 size uh, this is just a postcard you know you could actually find an a6 size postcard um, or you can actually just recycle your watercolor paper you could even do the swatches on here. Um, and if, for example, you do not like this brown over here, this is a sticky tag, so I could just take it out. And I could swap it. So, for example, if I like to have perrin red, I would just stick it and, and I would replace um, whichever color I don't like. Just consider using this portion for the mixing. So, this is a a uh, white board to stick. It's like a sticker that you can actually stick on uh, on the on the wall. It sticks to any surface, right? And it's it does can you, you can actually use it. Um, you can use a white cloth to clean, uh, and it lasts up to two years. So it's really for you to use uh, on on any of the. You can stick it and peel it and write it. So um, previously in my first edition, I did not do it, and I now have some stain on my case. So. You can actually stick this down and you can actually clean this up very easily with water and uh, you don't really need to uh, worry about uh, staining the, the case. So all you need is this palette, right? So and everything can be fitted here. So let me just show you how you can fit it in. So this is what I'll do. I'll just fit this in. Remember my pencil, so I'll just bring out two pencils. You can bring out another pen if you want to, right? Uh, the pen and the brush everything in one and you can even store washi tapes here so you have the kind who like clean uh, crease edge you could actually you know keep your washi tape tape to the to the tag to this case and use it and bring it out so so you just need to put a little force bit of force and press it down and you're good to go this is all you need so in this segment i'm gonna show you how you can make your own uh, ultimate sketching setup with uh, using this ultimate palette so uh, what you need would be uh, the sketching palette, the pouch. The pouch can be anything that you can find, but it should be big enough to hold the whole palette. Uh, a, a clip that uh, could be a metal clip or a plastic clip, as, as long as you can hold uh, the palette onto the clipboard. Some paper, you need the clipboard. I also just getting a portrait size uh, A4 uh, clipboard for this. So this, I'm just recycling what I have. Uh, for the start, when you are drawing, you probably don't need that palette. So what you can do is to sit down somewhere and then take out what you have 
uh, need for sketching. So you can take out the pencil, the color pencil, um, and a pen. That would be for the sketching part, the uh, inking part. And you can leave these inside the, the little pouch and uh, just you know hold it in your wrist while you're standing there and, and doing the sketching. All right. So once you're done with the sketching, you can just keep the things that you do not need. So for these that you do not need into the pouch, take out the, out, the ultimate sketching palette, um, open it up and uh, just take out the whole uh, swatch card uh, containing the paint, stick it at the top, right? So remember we have the uh, palette and that at the top is the cover for the uh, mask case. So what you need to do is just, just to, what you need to do is just to stick it at the top over here, all right? Uh, with the masking tape or with washi tape as what I've shown. And uh, what's at the bottom would be the uh, painting, painting side, uh, the painting mixing tray. And uh, remember this part of the, uh, uh, so for example, if I already sketched it on, on my A5 size paper, I would then clip my board, clip my uh, sketching palette on the top like that. So it should be secure enough to hold it so that you can hold the board with one hand and paint with the other. And what you need to do is then to paint it. So for example, you have your water brush and you're ready to paint. Just need to take that color, paint it. You can do the mixing over here. And uh, you would also benefit from having a, a kitchen towel or a piece of tissue paper, just in case. So you can hold it in, on this hand, right? Like that. And like when you need to change color or you need to wash out your brush, just squeeze out the color on the water brush and dab it dry and you can mix colors. And you can actually do it while standing up. Um, but if you have a sketchbook, you can also sit down uh, with this one and you don't need that clipboard. But this is just showing you how that's done. And then when you're done, just clean off and you can just uh, stick back your paint, right? And you can put back everything else into, into this. So just slot in all your pencils and this can be, uh, and then and, and you can just keep this, you can just keep this back into the pouch and you are ready to go. So this is how I would use uh, the ultimate sketching palette. The disadvantage of uh, this uh, sketch kit is that if you are not into water brush, uh, you can't, you don't, it's not, it's not applicable to you because I can only use water brush to set up. Um, and it's also it's good for a quick sketching. So if you are doing the like full sheet uh, watercolor, or, you know, plein air kind of thing, no, this is not for you. And as I've shown you how how I would actually uh, attach this uh, during sketching, um, you are only limited because you have to make sure that one at least a, a small part of this is on the clipboard. Um, you only limited to probably a little bit, like maybe uh, this amount, like a A5 size. I don't even think you could do an A4 size. So if you have to, you have to sketch pretty small. So that's that's the the few disadvantages that I have. But I think if you are into like quick sketching, uh, you don't want to. You're not the kind who you know are very fussy about uh, bringing all sorts of materials. This this is kind of the dream to to work with. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, just something that I discovered and I thought it'd be nice to, to share it with people. I don't have this to give out to a special lucky person because I actually used this for uh, my, my workshop several weeks back and um, I, I, I did have someone who didn't turn up. <laughs> so I have an extra set. So this would be sent to the person. There will be some washi tapes here, a set of 18 colors on the cupboard. And of course, this uh, you know the, this this palette over here, the mask case. So if you in you know if in, in future you've decided that ah no I'm not gonna use this as a, a palette, you could actually use this as a mask case. So why not, right? This giveaway is open to everybody. All you need to do is to write down in the comment section um, below that you want this ultimate sketching palette and. Uh, 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 where would you go out with this one? I hope to share more interesting uh, DIY stuff uh, for urban sketching and, and for art and uh, do let me know if there's anything you'd like to see more of like for example if you'd like to see more DIY things or like water, colour paint review, paper review, um, sketching, sketch with me kind of videos alright and I'll see you in the next one um, bye!